Hey guys, welcome to the Aparks channel. Today we're gonna to be doing our first mod on the Evo. Um, and the mod's gonna be an engine brand, uh, I think I said that correctly, it's I-N-J-E-N, engine brand, uh, cold air intake system with intercooler piping. And it's gonna fix my major problem that I have right now, which is the uh, charge pipe heading from the cold side of the intercooler that goes up to the throttle body is just getting shot right off. Um, I think the rubber hosing uh, that is on the on the from the factory, it's like an elbow, a 90 degree elbow. I think it's just worn out. And uh, the previous owner has been running 25 pounds of boost for I don't know how many years. So uh, I think it's just wear and tear and needs something a little bit stronger. So um, this this kit's gonna have everything. It's gonna be metal uh, with new replacement parts that are stronger and made for better boost. And also um, it'll give me a little bit more power in. Luckily, it was really cheap on Amazon. It was like about 350 bucks with free delivery for the whole kit. So that's the, that's both the intake system and the intercooler piping all as one kit for 350. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, and on top of that, it is California carb compliant. So if I get pulled over uh, and get asked to pop my hood and all that garbage, uh, I don't, I won't get in trouble. So anyway, I'm gonna try doing my first time lapse video here. I am a little bit nervous, I guess, because I've never done one before and I could just record a bunch of footage that doesn't really work. That's what I'm worried about is I waste a bunch of time and miss the take basically. So uh, here goes nothing. So I've got the kit removed from the engine box and here's everything laid out, kind of organized into piles. Um, I know it's messy because there's like strollers and stuff in my garage here, but it is what it is, right? So uh, there is the filter, you can see the big filter. Um, this, this right here is like a cast um, intake pipe. So this is going from the turbo, uh, or sorry, it's through the filter and through that pipe and straight into the actual turbo. Uh, which will be shot out through another pipe, which is replaced here, which is, I think they call that like the hot side of the intercooler. Um, and that gets cooled through the intercooler and then gets com comes back out another one of these pipes here and comes up and uh, goes to the throttle body. So a uh, total of one, two, three, four pipes and the one filter and uh, relocating the blow valve, the boost controller and uh, the MAF sensor. So. Um, a decent amount of stuff here, and it's all powder coated black. It looks really good. I think it's gonna match just the overall look of the car with the red. Um, it's a red car with black accents, so I think it kind of will just blend in. And uh, also, you know, as I already mentioned, if I get the hood pop, it's carb. But also, I think it looks kind of in its place. It doesn't look too out of or it doesn't look too out of place under the hood if it gets popped for some reason by a police officer. So. Um, Maybe you think I sound paranoid, but I do live in California, so uh, we do worry about stuff like that here. In any case, um, then what we need to do first here is pop the hood, remove the front bumper, um, and then from there is actually where we can start getting a lot of the work done to remove the air box, the, the OEM air box, and then start routing all the piping. Um, so I think this is where I will start doing the time lapse.
so it's about a week later from that time lapse that you just saw and you probably left off seeing the intake looking almost installed and there's a little plastic wrapper on the end of the filter and don't worry I took that off guys and that was pretty much the end of the time lapse but what I wanted to tell you was that was my first time trying to do a time lapse video and where I really screwed up was my GoPro Hero 7 has time lapse modes and pictures and video and I guess it defaulted to pictures so if you're looking at my screen right now this is one folder okay and this is 999 pictures right here this was one folder that I when I put it in time lapse mode, this is pictures, one folder worth of pictures. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, there were way more. There were um there were 14. There were 14 folders of uh 999 pictures. So there's like 14,000 pictures. And I had to glue them all together to make the video that you just saw, and then edit them and speed them up. It was excruciating, and my computer is stupid fast. Like, uh, I'll just do this and show you. Um, I have a 9900K, and it's overclocked at 5 gigahertz on all eight cores with 16 threads, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1060 Ti. Sorry, 1080 Ti. It's late. Um, my computer is really fast, and it was bad. Uh, so. Next time I will use the video version and not have to do all this extra work, but that's why it took so long to finish this video. And now let's go watch me drive the car because that's way more fun than what you just watched. All right, guys, so we are in the Evo. We're in a parking lot and I'm gonna take off here and uh, I've got a pretty decent microphone attached to my GoPro. So I'm really hoping that the like spooling noise as well as the blow off noise will be you know pretty easy to pick up over the camera um, I've got my windows down so uh, let's give this a go or a try whatever you want to call it owner had upgraded the factory blow off valve from the plastic one to a metal one it's a better unit but it's still recirculating which makes it still uh, legal here in California if I were to blow off like that next to a cop he said I don't like that I'm gonna pull you over pop your hood uh, I wouldn't get in trouble because he would see all the pipes are connected back to each other. There's nothing purging to the atmosphere. Um, you know, that coupled with the intake system is a carb legal. I'm actually good to go here in California. Um, but the big thing is that now without the, st with the stock intake off and the engine intake on, the blow off, the recirculating blow off noise is so loud that it's almost like having a vent to atmosphere blow off valve and I love that. So give it a little rip right here. Feels really good um, and it sounds really good. We'll find out, I'll have to review this footage after I'm done to see how good the camera or the microphone are picking everything up. 
but it is a lot louder, a lot more aggressive sounding. Uh, the spooling sound is just, it's so much better. Uh, it's a lot more fast and the furious, which is kind of what I was going for, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, it's kind of like era accurate back to when this car came out in 2006. And I'm, I'm happy about it. So anyway, uh, that does it for this video. I have a lot more Evo videos coming in the future. And let me know what you guys think about this new setup and what I should do, what else I should do to this Evo.